Let's talk a little bit about ARV. You hear coaches and real estate investors talk all the time about ARV, and people will often ask in our free Q&A that we do via our Facebook group, Lazy Girl REI, what is ARV? And it stands for after repair value. And a lot of people get confused because they will go to their agent and say, can you give me the ARV on this property? And agents don't use that lingo. That's not the terminology that they typically use that is really real estate investor lingo. So how do we get an ARV when we're talking to a seller? When sellers call in and our uh, acquisitions reps are talking to them, they have a process by which they can get a ballpark ARV. It's not exact. So after repair value, what the house is worth when it's all fixed up. Seller calls in and you're on the phone with them and the acquisitions rep on the computer screen is bringing up typically three different sources to figure out the value of that property. Number one is PropStream, okay? PropStream is a software that a lot of real estate investors use for marketing, to look at ARVs. They have a really cool heat map that tells you where values are going up and where the most sales are. It's a pretty awesome tool. It also gives you the value, the estimated value of the property, what they think it's worth. So we will pull up PropStream. We will also pull up Zillow before you freak out because I know there's a lot of stuff out there that Zillow is not accurate at all. His estimates aren't accurate. In some areas, Zillow is actually really accurate, not in all areas. So obviously this takes a lot of testing on your part and comparing Zillow and PropStream to what your real estate agent tells you. So we'll go to PropStream, we'll go to Zillow, and we'll go to Realtor.com. We get those three values, and then we take the average of those three values, and that's what we use as our ballpark ARV or ballpark after repair value. So we can say to the seller, hey, Zillow says your home is worth 180,000. Does that seem correct? Because I know sometimes Zillow is wrong. And a lot of times sellers will say they don't know what their house is worth, but they know y'all, they know. Because when you give them an offer and it is low, they'll say, do you know what my house is worth? And they'll spout off exactly what their house is worth. So this is a great way to get your foot in the door and open up the conversation with the seller about what their house is actually worth. Hey, Zillow says your house is worth 180. Does that sound right? Because I know they're usually wrong. You're not saying they're too high or they're too low. You're just asking for confirmation from the seller and opening up the conversation for them to talk about what they really think their house is worth. And a lot of times they'll say, oh, my neighbor's house sold for 190, but my house is in worse condition, so it probably won't sell for that or something along those lines. So we take the average of those, but nothing is better than getting comps from your real estate agent to figure out ARV. So when we're on the phone with the seller, we quickly are looking up information through PropScene, Zillow, and Realtor.com. But afterwards, we are going to a local real estate agent and confirming ARV. But we don't say ARV to a real estate agent. We say, can you tell me what this house will be worth all fixed up in magazine ready condition? Okay, on a scale of one to 10 with one being the worst property you've ever seen and 10 being magazine ready, can you tell me what this house is worth in magazine ready condition? A lot of people are gonna comment and say, there's no difference between what a house is worth as is and what it's worth in magazine ready condition. That is not true. And I can tell you that's not true because we had an appraiser's assistant come on a call specifically for our students in our coaching program. And she I asked her that specific question because there's so much confusion, or confusion around it. And she said, it makes a big difference is if the home is rehabbed and in magazine ready condition. So you want your agent to pull comps from other properties that are fixed up really nice and ready to go magazine ready if you have a three bedroom one bath ranch and that's in super crappy condition 
and a three bedroom, one bath ranch that's magazine ready, they are not going to be worth the same thing. So when your agent sends you comps, it's important that you go to Zillow to flip through pictures of that listing, what that listing looked like to make sure your house is going to look the same. So ARV after repair value is a what a house is worth when it is fixed up in magazine ready condition. That's what you want to tell your real estate agents so they're not confused by terminology and they're getting you great accurate comps because no matter where you pull your comps from, PropStream, Zillow, Realtor.com, nothing beats using a real estate agent and creating a great relationship with real estate agents in your market. I hope this was helpful for you guys. If you have more questions, join our group on Facebook, Lazy Girl REI.